Hey, 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 good morning, guys. Sorry about that. I was trying to see how to flip my camera. I'm still a scope newbie. So thank you guys for joining me. Good morning here from the chilly, chilly, supposed to be hot Atlanta, but it's cold today. So you guys see my little pink leather coat I got on today, little jacket to keep me from hopefully sneezing and having to blow my nose on camera. But anyway, good morning. Who do we have here? Where are you from? What part of the world are you in? What's going on in your neck of the woods? Let me know uh, where you guys are from. Thank you so much for joining me here this morning. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning. Good morning from Hotlanta. Welcome. Let me know where you're from, what you have going on. You guys invite some people. Um, swipe up or swipe down if you have a droid to go ahead and invite some people left or right if you have an iPhone. Uh, click on my picture to follow future uh, scope. I'm trying to get used to this thing. I'm new to scope, but I'm happy to be here with you this morning. So you guys feel free to put comments below and we'll chat and then we'll try to do a little Q&A afterwards. But today we're talking about seven ways that you can outshine your competition in business. So hopefully you're an entrepreneur, either aspiring or you are established, a veteran, been in it for a while. Aspiring is considered maybe five years or less. You've been in business and you're looking for ways to grow and make more money. And then the vets, the established, those that are looking to set, uh, sustain or scale their business and go to the next level, um, five years or more. I've been in business for about 10 years. Hello, everybody. I'm Andrika A.J. Austin, also known as the Social Pranista. I'm the host of Empowering Conversations for Women, Small Business Owners. So, um, I like to engage, I like to empower, I like to educate um, entrepreneurs and share resources and information. So I coach professional women, small business owners, like people here on the scope, like people wherever we go on social media, um, online and offline. And so anything to generate revenue in your business, I like to talk about it. I'm at Social Pranista. Here's a little screenshot of how our Take a screenshot of how you can follow me on all other channels. Let me see if I can get this right. At Social Pranista, if you're looking for me on other channels. It looks backwards to me, so hopefully you can see it right. But my website is thesocialpranista.com. That's thesocialpranista.com. Hopefully you got it. I saw a flash. Let me do it one more time. I'm, again, I'm learning this periscope stuff. So here we go. One, two, three. You got your screenshot. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. The socialpranista.com, all things at or backslash socialpranista. I share a lot of good empowerment tips, motivational quotes, and ways to help you increase your impact, influence, and income in your business. So if you are a woman in business and you're looking for a coach, I would love to invite you to an empowering conversation. So visit my website, the socialpranista.com. If you're a man in business, no worries. Universal information can be applied to your business. So everything that I share. So again, guys, swipe up or down if you're on a Droid, left to right if you're on an iPhone, and click follow by my picture. I need more followers. I'm new to the Periscope, so help me out. And then if you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and um, put them in the comments, and then we'll try to do a Q&A afterwards. So the socialpreneurs.com. Also, hearts, guys. I'm doing a new um, contest for hearts. I noticed that people can give up to 500 hearts, I hear. I'm not sure if that's completely true here on Periscope, but the more hearts you give, you are entered into a drawing to win a free prize for me. So, And I give great gifts, even if it's my time in a coaching session where you can, quote, pick my brain. So hearts bring in love, and they bring in chances for you to be entered to win. So here we go, guys. Let's go ahead and get started. Again, I'm Andrika A.J. Austin, the social producer. Happy to have you here. Just wanted to give you a little background about my story and where I came up with these tips in my story. So um, I'm A.J. I go by A.J. for short. The social panista. So think of me as your business best girlfriend. I'm a little savvy. I'm a little spiritually connected. I'm a little um, straightforward. I give it to you straight. I share the love. I share what you want to hear, what you might not want to hear. But the reason I'm like that is because no one else wants to see you succeed more than you than I do. Let me say that again. Because no one other than you wants to see you succeed like I do. So that's why I'm real. I share my journey. I share what's worked, what hasn't worked. Um, but I come from living in a shelter years ago, working overtime, being exhausted, being depressed, 
taking medication, having panic attacks, trying to meet corporate deadlines, being stressed out. You guys can probably relate to that, right? Give me some love. Show me some hearts. Put some comments below if you can relate to working that nine to five. But I've been through that. I've been through a divorce and my hair falling out and just things not working right, just from coming from that corporate background and being super stressed out, full of anxiety. But then I had a loud wake up call. When I found myself balled up in a corner, spaced out on medications, I knew it was time for a change. I said, no, no, no. I went to my doctor. She knew I didn't like taking medications for any reason. I believe in healthy ways if I can help it. But I weaned myself off of the medication and I had an aha moment, a clarity moment saying, you know what? This type of high-pressure lifestyle, I can't take it. I'm not willing to sacrifice my health for the sake of someone else's dream. So I stopped trying to live that type of life. And I decided to stop doing things that did not make me happy, didn't bring me joy. And I looked within. I said, what can I do to serve others? What can I do to help others? And so I decided to start my own company. And so I've been in business for 10 years now, thankfully. And I have a lot of knowledge and wisdom to share. So thank you guys for joining me to hear what I have to say. So within that, I've always known within myself that I was born to lead. I was born to help others. And so I decided to take a leap of faith and dedicate my life, my time to my future. Why am I here? What am I here to do? How can I serve? And so I started my own business. And shortly after that, I became a certified life coach and now a business coach. And so I specialize in developing um, empowering training programs for women small business owners to help them take their vision and their passion to the next level. I've been called the vision elevation expert, uh, but I share a lot of knowledge on ways that you can take your business to the next level. So if you guys know anyone who could use some empowerment tips, go ahead and swipe up or down, left or right, um, to share, to follow me, first of all, and then to share, share hearts, share love, share the broadcast, share the replays, and get us some more entrepreneurs to join in on the engagement and the conversation. I try to be here 1127 every day. I think I'm a little early today, but I'm on Eastern Standard Time here in Atlanta. I know you guys are all over the world, Um, but just here to have that conversation of empowerment and encouragement because as an entrepreneur, it gets hard and you need to hear ways that you can stand out and do better in your business. And so I've always had a lifelong passion for knowledge sharing and teaching and helping others. So that's the reason that I try to design my programs on encouragement and empowerment and entertainment and engagement on ways that can help you grow your business. And so I do this by helping you think bigger, you know, look beyond. I had to look beyond living in a shelter, look beyond being divorced, look beyond being depressed. Get out of your bed like I had to do this morning. I'm not depressed, y'all, by the way, but I just know how it is as an entrepreneur. You know, you need to be surrounded by like-minded people. And so you have to get out of the bed, shake it off, show up anyway. And so that's what I help women do. And so with that, I'm able to help you guys build a stronger support team. And so that's why I've decided to start doing scopes to give you leverage, give you a platform, give you a place to come to share or at least to hear an encouraging word. And so doing things by getting clear and staying focused and being accountable. These are things we all need in our business from day to day, because again, entrepreneurship is not easy, but I have witnessed firsthand success because I know what it takes to grow a business and I know what it takes to have someone to hold you accountable to that. So I started my business because I believe in being an empowered business leader and because I want to see women entrepreneurs succeed in their business because we work so hard to get started. We work so hard to try to make money and support our families and support our lifestyle. So we have to decide to show up. We have to decide to start those businesses, then decide how to sustain those businesses, then decide how to scale them and go to the next level. And so of course, You know, people like me who've been in it for a while, you start out spinning your wheels and all it takes to officially start your business and get things up and running. That was my story just a few short years ago. I mean, but my biggest reward so far, I've seen that I get to do what comes naturally to me, which is facilitating engaging conversations, hosting empowering chats and talks with women entrepreneurs and seeing what you guys are dealing with in your business. That brings me joy. And not only that, but I have a VIP program for college students here in my hometown of Douglasville, Georgia. Um, And this is where kids who are in local universities get to work with me as interns. And in turn, if they're taking any kind of business or entrepreneurship class, I dedicate a portion of my budget as an entrepreneur to paying for their college textbook and helping them out with certain aspects of their courses on entrepreneurship and on business. And they get free training on what it takes to be in business. They get that hands-on experience. So that brings me joy. 
because these are women, these are future leaders who are going to start businesses and take over. And so this is my way of leaving my legacy. So what can you do if you haven't started anything like that so far? What can you do to give back, to help out for people who are already on the journey as well and may not be where you are in business? Maybe you're a little bit further along. How can you help other people? Um, so that's just a little bit about me. That's a little about my story. That's a little about how I got into business and why I keep going every day because it's fun for me. It brings me joy to meet other people who to do what they love and love what they do. That's my slogan. I do what I love. I love what I do. Another slogan is I am here to hold you accountable, not hold your hand. So if you guys are really looking for taking your business to the next level, I hope you'll continue to join me on my Periscope. But just to recap from my story, these are seven tips that I got out of my story and how I got here. The first one is to do something that brings out your leadership skills. As I mentioned, I've always known that I was born to lead. I've always known that I had a unique gift to help others. I actually helped my mother with her business when she started when I was 13 years old, and she would run ideas by me and ask me what I thought. And so I've been coaching since 13. So I think that's great that people put their trust in me and helping, uh, allow me to help them bring their ideas to fruition. Number two is about investing and reading and learning and training and coaching and getting that hands-on opportunity to serve doing what you do. So even if you're in business already, I would still look for volunteer opportunities and ways to show up and give. For example, I'm a part of a summit every year that um, caters to small nonprofits in the Atlanta area, and they have something called curbside consulting. So that's when people that are already in business in the community can come in and meet new businesses and give them coaching for 15 minutes for free. Now, you do this all day for 15 minutes each. You leave with no voice. A really, really dry throat, but so fulfilled. I mean, just so happy that you could help others and give. So just think about ways that um, you can do something to show your leadership skills, invest in reading, learning, training. Um, I know a lot of us are hosting scopes and giving out great information. There are a lot of great podcasts and a lot of great books and trainings, things online that you can find for free and for low or minimal cost that'll help you grow your business to the next level. And then tip number three is to find one thing that you love, absolutely love. If it's talking, if it's listening, if it's writing, if it's speaking, get one thing in mind, one thing. Don't try to be everything. Don't try to do everything, but get one thing in mind. Focus on that one thing and then find someone to hold you accountable. Again, get somebody you can check in with, ask you how it's going, give you some tips and advice for what could work and then help you go to that next level in your business. So, But you have to get clear and know that you're doing what you love. It's bringing out your leadership skills. You're training in it. You're serving in it. You're getting that hands-on experience every day, whether it's pay or unpaid. When you do what you love, sometimes the pay doesn't matter, but the pay definitely follows when you do it with passion. Tip number four is to pick a theme. For me, it's entrepreneurship. It's women. It's empowerment. It's Anything motivational, inspirational. So whatever it is for you, it could be mentoring, it could be sales, it could be fashion. Whatever it is, pick a theme and stick with it. And adding that to the training and the leadership, find a way you can stand out even more. And number five is about believing. We have to first believe that we're good at it, believe that we love it, believe that it can impact lives, believe that you can be influential in it, and believe that it can make you income. You have to believe. And then number six is to reward yourself celebrate you, take you out to lunch, out to dinner, buy yourself a gift. What's your favorite thing to do? What's your favorite pastime or hobby? Buy a new book. I'm a book nerd. And so I order books all the time online um, and go to bookstores for fun. And I reward myself with a new business book because it, it excites me to learn something new that I can share. So find a way to reward yourself. And then number seven, most of all, is to have fun. Enjoy what you do. Have fun showing up and doing what you love. So again, do something that brings your, your leadership skills out. Do something that invests in your reading and your learning and your training and your hands-on industry experience. Find something that you love. Stick with it. Focus on that. Find somebody to hold you accountable. Pick a theme and stick with it. Believe. Reward yourself. And most importantly, have fun. So hopefully those tips helped you guys today. I thank you. Thank you for spending your morning with me getting these tips on how to take your business to the next level. And I wanted to let you guys know about an upcoming teleclass that I have next Sunday, October 25th, 2015 at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Again, next Sunday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, October 25th, 
Uh, it's a teleclass. It is about the top seven, no, the top six reasons people do not buy from you. The top six reasons that people do not buy from you. But then what we're going to do is uncover the additional 17 reasons that people do buy and how to make sure that you are catering to those people. So it's going to talk about making it easier to find customers and clients and what you can do to give people reasons to buy from you, what to say every time to get your potential clients and customers to buy from you, and then how to get them to refer others. So again, it's a virtual training, 90 minutes. It's part of that education, that empowerment series that I love being a part of. So if you want more information on that, visit my website, thesocialpranista.com. That's thesocialpranista.com. And click on the events tab, and it'll tell you more about the event. Um, Thank you guys for joining me. This has been a morning scope. I'm sitting here freezing, so I'm going to go and warm up and hopefully join you guys on another broadcast later on. Hope you guys have an awesome day, top of the week. Happy Monday, and I will see you again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.